Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about that one of the most important things in our UI builder called declarative action. What is a declarative action and why we need to create a declarative action? That thing we are going to discuss in our today's session. So if you recall that our previous session, we have actually added two UI actions. One is called cancel UI actions. Another is the work in progress UI action. Both are the native UI action. Both UI action we make visible in our um, form page. Now in our today sessions, what we are going to do that we are going to work with our list page. So this is the list page we have created in our previous session. In this list page, we are going to create a new declarative action, or we can say that we are going to show a new declarative action called resolve incident. Let's see the understand the requirement. So if you see that uh, if I select two buttons or two uh, record like multiple records. You will be able to see that this edit button, right? So this is make visible. If I uncheck all this, this is not, uh, you know, selectable. But if you select the moment you one record, two record, you can see the number got increased, and you can see that this edit button is visible. Now, once we click this uh, uh, edit button, there are two buttons. One is the assign to me, and another is the edit button. So if you click assign to me, this button is going to be, uh, this incident is going to be assigned to you. Now what do we want? We want to create another button called resolve incident. Whenever you click the resolve incident, what will be happen? All these incident will be resolved. And before that, there should be a pop up. As you know that in the incident, we have a resolution code and resolution note. Both the fields are mandatory. So we are going to show a pop up called uh, resolution code and resolution notes. Once you fill these two value and then click the save button. Uh, your incident is going to be resolved. Now, if you recall that to show a just a, a confirmation box, like if I click here, cancel in, uh, incident, to show a, a confirmation box, we had to write too many uh, line of code. Um, but if we create a declarative action, we are going to uh, write less code. And in future, if we want to do some complex things, we are, we need less code. Now. The question is that why we need the declarative action whenever we already have a uh, UI action why we need the declarative action you can say that declarative action is a new component um, which is only available in your UI builder at that moment uh, for the workspace you cannot use that uh, declarative action um, in your native view as well as you cannot use the declarative action in your um, uh, portal view at that moment but declarative action is a new component uh, which is more uh, flexible more uh, uh, less code actually you can say that okay but there are a lot of steps needs to be performed to set up our declarative action as this is a new things you might require to see a lot of tables but uh, of the moment you start um, you know using this uh, function you will be more familiar and you will be more um, familiar with the tables and all this component so let's understand that how we can create a declarative action so at that moment what we want we want to show a button called resolve so that's it right to create a declarative action you can go to this uh, uh, here called native view and then type called now experience under this now experience uh, if you recall that uh, we have already action configuration earlier we discussed about that and uh, now we are going to create a uh, here through this create new action we are going to create a declarative action so if you click that create new action you will be able to see that um, this five type of declarative action we have one is the attachment type field record form list related list these are the things uh, these are the type of declarative action we have as I discussed earlier a form related stuff now I want to create a list uh, declarative action here to more flexible with that so what I want I want to create a list declarative action so I'll click a list here type as a list and the new form will be available now first thing is that we need to define the table you can define the table uh, view if you want so for the timing I'm not uh, talking about any view I want to implement that for incident table I just selected the table name equal to incident I'm not putting anything as a uh, view now here we are going to put that call resolve that's it i don't want to put any other thing so you can see unlike uh, ui action when you put the label it's automatically put the name here we have a important field called implemented as 
and there are three type of implemented as one is the server script ux f client script and client script what is this will come little bit later now we just put the result and that's it uh, i have not write any script anything i have not done so i just created this button so i'll click the save button once your resolve button or you can say declarative action is created is that button is going to be visible in your workspace let's see if you refresh here you can see that resolve button is visible here okay so this button is visible here in case this is not visible what you can do that you can go to this um, ux action configuration and under this ux action configuration you can go to this list action and then here you can add as a list action so you can simply click new and then you can put our uh, button called resolve incident so you can select the resolve incident and then submit that so as you can see that i have mapped that resolve button in our list action configuration now if you see the left side what we have one tab called all declarative action so for the incident table or for this uh, action configuration like either it is for form either it is for action bar or the decor list whatever it is if you create any or if you map any uh, declarative action here all your declarative action will be visible now in case as i said if that is not visible for the list you can just map to here for list now if i go here under this workspace and if i refresh that the button is visible or not we can check that so we can see uh, the button is visible uh, you can see that i have not selected any of this checkbox and still this is uh, you know highlighted and you can see that uh, for edit button uh, i had to select then only this is getting highlighted right so there is a small configuration for that so let's do that you can go to this uh, declarative action and then under the declarative action you can see that record selection required this checkbox is available you can select that and what will be happen if i save that you have to select a record to uh, make this highlighted so if i refresh quickly you can see initially it is not uh, you know highlighted now once you selected one of the record you can see this is showing as a highlighted call result so you know how we can uh, or which situation you need to select this record selection required now here is the thing if you scroll down a little bit you will be able to see that um, multiple uh, things are available so one of the things called count group by table query limit page view uh, csids so these are the action model fields which will be automatically created once you created your uh, you know uh your declarative action now what is used for this so these are the, you could call the variables you can use this variable in future whenever is needed so these are the variable for example one of the variable i could say the count okay so what is the use for so for example if i put resolve space double quotes and then put count and let's save that what will be happen how many record you have selected that will be show for example if i uh, refresh our right now you can see the resolve is zero and if we select one two it is showing the count similarly you can use other variables for example you can select the table csids pages wherever for example i am selecting the table so instead of count i want to use the table so these variable we you can use that uh, later so let's say i'll use a table and save that so what will be happen in your workspace it will be show that what is the table name what is our table name you can see the table name task actually we are using the task so parent table of the incident is task that is visible here so this way you can actually uh, you know make uh, use this variables later in in your uh, later phase for example i want to use the csid so we'll copy that and paste here what will be happen that comma separated csid will be visible initially it will be blank and whenever you will select one by one record the csid will be present for the timing it's resolved now if i select first record first record csid is appending if i select second record you can see the second record csid is appending in a comma separated so these you could say that these are the variable we can use 
in our future not at that moment but in future we can use that that's it we'll just remove that at that moment and simply save that okay so our uh, result button or declarative action is right now uh, present and now we are going to talk about that one of the important factor called uh, uh, implemented as so implemented as is a very important factor here so what is the implemented as so implemented as is like how you if you click that button what will be react how it will be react that is the implemented ads if you selected this one right what will be happen we want to do something what we want we want to uh, set uh, the incident result right so we want to set the incident state right so this you can perform through that implemented as one of the important implemented as is called server side script ux if client action and then client side so let's talk about the server side so server side uh, action or you can say if client side script or server side script is nothing but similar as similar as in your normal ui action so if you go your normal ui action whatever script you write there you could have write here also you don't have any differences for example uh, if i go back to the incident let's say i'm opening the incident so let's say that if i want to use that um, you know um, state equal to resolve which is nothing but 6 right so we can say that simply here in the script called current dot state equal to 6 and then we have you know that we have two mandatory fields let's say that uh, resolution uh, close code and close note so we, we are going to use that So here I just put simple code as that call current dot state equal to six close underscore code equal to update a duplicate close underscore code is equal to duplicate and then close underscore notes is equal to test and then I'll say that current dot update. So if you do that, what will be happen? Simply your incident is going to be update and then going to be resolved. So nothing different than UI action. Look and wise you can do that, but if you see that. You can simply create a, a declarative action and using the declarative action you can do perform the same action that you used to do in your uh, client side so let's go here let's refresh our workspace and let's uh, open incident okay so why this button is not visible let's go back and if we scroll up okay so this activate uh, this button got disappear so let's save that and if we go here and refresh again and go to this open section you can see the result button is visible let's say that i'm going to select one record and then click resolve so 9004 so you can see 9004 got resolved so this way you can actually uh, mark or you can work as a uh, server side script you can see okay so this got resolved 